Hello, dearest. Welcome back to my channel. This is my family. I hope everyone is doing well. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Vienna and Russian rolls. This is so delicious and tasty. Can you see this Russian rolls that I just cut? It is so delicious and nice. In fact, I could not wait for them to cool down before I started to enjoy it too. <laughs> and I believe you too will enjoy it with your family. Now, if we're new to my channel, we will be delighted to have you join our team by clicking the subscriber button, turning on the bell so that you will not miss out in any upload that I make. Share, comment, and also like my recipes. So let's get started. First, I'm going to place my skewer sticks into my bowl and then I'll go ahead and add three cups of water into it and allow it to soak for about one hour. Once I'm done, I'll go ahead and wash my Vienna and then put them in a plate and also my reaction and then put them in a plate as well. I'll go ahead and then dry them with the kitchen towel a little bit and then set them all aside beautifully. Now in a bowl, I'm going to add four cups of flour. To that, I'll go ahead and add milk powder and also sugar. I'll also go ahead and add salt to it and I'll mix everything together until it is well incorporated. Once it is well incorporated, I'll go ahead and add instant yeast. You can use dry yeast as well. So I'll mix everything together until it is well combined as well. And once it is well combined, I'll go ahead and add one tablespoon of margarine into it. You can use butter as well. I will rub the margarine inside the flour nicely until it is well combined and beautiful. And once it is done, I will use my spatula to create a well in between it. And I will go ahead and add one teaspoon of vanilla flavor into one cup of water. And then I will mix it very well. I will add the mixture into the flour and then start to mix it. I will then go ahead and add additional one cup of water into it gradually and begin to mix it until the dough forms beautifully. So once it is doughy like this, I'll go ahead and take out my spatula and I'll begin to use my hands to mix the dough very nicely until it is well combined and beautiful. And just look at it. My dough has formed beautifully and nice. So at this point, I'm just going to take it out of the bowl and then flour my working board and transfer the dough into it nicely. I will then go ahead and give it a good knitting for about five minutes for the gluten to form beautifully. And just look at that, it has formed beautifully. So at this point, what I will do now is to spread a little bit of margarine in the bowl and then place my dough into it because I do not want it to stick under the bowl. So I will go ahead and cover it with the plastic and then allow it to rest for about 30 minutes to rise beautifully.
Whilst we are waiting for it to rise beautifully, I'll go ahead and then take my Vienna and ration. And what I'll do now is to put my skewer stick into my Vienna very nicely at this point. Once I'm done, I'll go ahead and then cut my ration. I'll just slice it nicely so that it will be easy when I am baking. The heat will penetrate inside it very nicely. Once I'm done, I will set it aside and go ahead and check on my dough. And just look at my dough. It has risen beautifully. So at this point, I'm going to take out the plastic out of the dough. And then I'm going to put my hands in to show you how it, it looks. And just look at that. It looks very good and nice. So at this point, I'm going to take the dough out of the bowl and then flour my working board and put on the dough as well. I will then shape it very nicely at this point and then cut the dough into two equal sizes using my eyes to just eyeballing it. You can also use scale if you prefer, but you can also use your eyes just to eyeballing it and then cut it into two equal sizes. So once I'm done cutting them, I will just flour my board and then flour my rolling pin as well and also the dough so that it will be easier for me when I'm rolling it. At this point, I'm going to roll it to my desired thickness that I am looking for. And I'm going to show you the thickness I am looking for. So this is the thickness I am going for. So at this point, I'm going to cut the sides very nicely to make it straight. So once I'm done, I'm going to cut them into four sizes nicely. And then what I'll do now is to place my Vienna on each of them nicely, just like the way you are seeing it in the video. And then what I'll do now is to roll the dough over the Vienna very nicely and then set it aside. So I'm going to repeat the same process until I am done with all of them. So once I'm done, what I'll do now is to flour my board nicely and then pinch where the ends are and make sure it is sealed and then roll it a little bit. So this is what I will do to all of them until I am done with the Vienna rolls. And then at this point, I'm going to place them in my baking tray nicely and brush them with egg wash nicely and bake for about 10 minutes at 180 degrees celsius i've already preheated my oven for about five minutes now so i will bake it whilst i go ahead with other one so what i'll do now is to cut my dough and put it there. I will just roll my dough to my desired thickness. And once I am done, I will go ahead and then place my ration on top of it nicely. Just look at that. And I'm going to fold the dough over the ration nicely and then roll it until it is beautiful. 
and just look at the way it look it is so nice and perfect so once i'm done rolling i'll just set aside and repeat the same process until i am done so now it's been 10 minutes and let's check on our rolls and just look at that our vienna rose is ready and perfect just look at the way it look it is so nice and perfect and very delicious and i'll go ahead and put the russian one inside the tray as well and i'm using the glass tray this one and then i'm going to bake it for about 10 minutes as well Once I'm done brushing them with egg wash, I will just cut them so that the heat can cook everything evenly and bake it for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, just look at that. It is so perfect and nice. Our Russian rose and Vienna rose are ready to be enjoyed. Just look at that. It is so nice and delicious. And I really loved the Vienna. I really enjoyed it. I didn't even let it rest. I started to enjoy them. Just look at that. You can make this at home for your family and enjoy it together. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I believe you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try at home. Please try and let me know in the comment section how it went. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do so. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. This is Ma Feli. And always remember at Ma Feli, we believe in the old adage, your health is your wealth. So be mindful of what you eat. Until I see you in my next video, stay safe, fit, and healthy. Nyamrebua yeke yabiyaku. Bye.